Hi, this is Pete from VR Focus, and for our next gameplay video, we are looking at Star Trek Bridge Crew. This has been developed by Red Storm Entertainment, um, who are a subsidiary of Ubisoft. You've probably heard about this title, it's been covered fairly extensively in the news, and uh, we're now going to have a little gameplay session to show you what it's all about. Now, this is essentially a multiplayer game. Four player, um, where each of you take a certain role on the bridge. What we're going to do for this gameplay, though, is we're going to go for a solo adventure. Mainly because I can talk and it's not going to confuse the hell out of three other players. So as you can see, there's a selection of roles. This is where obviously in the normal multiplayer section, you would then each designate which role you'd want to be. Obviously, most people will probably want to be the captain, possibly the helm, maybe tactical, and the engineer is at the bottom for a very good reason. So we're gonna go for a campaign mission. You can also choose ongoing voyages and select the original Enterprise from the 1960s TV series if you so wish, but we're gonna go with the, the modern game. If you go like that, we can show that it changes. There we go. Ooh. There we go. Let's go. So, here we are on the Bridge of the Aegis. Let's start ourselves off. So, we need to scan the Ragusa for smuggled wildlife. Okay. So, you've got a load of selections. I can bring up, obviously, everything that I need to do or everything that I can select to do. Just like so, I'm bringing that down. There I have my helm, tactical, and engineering. So for this little video, what we're going to do is show you through some of the basics. So I can select my helm to either set speed, full stop, or I can take over. And here I have a nice little selection of different controls. Let's see, impulse power, warp power, transporter, system intrusion. I can click, click on that if we've got any anybody uh, attacking. See, so yeah, I can uh, then here's my map. I can select. And obviously, if I want to go to warp, right. So at the helm, I can basically control the ship with a bit of impulse power. Go forwards, turn it. I can even look outside the ship. It does look quite cool. No, I don't need to do that just yet because I want to be local because I need to scan that. So I'm going to go to tactical. Have a look what they can do. Okay, tactical. They can scan, so we'll start that off. Now you can select those individually if you wish to, and that will actually speed up the process for each individual bar. So that's going to scan the ship that I have selected over there. Other things that the uh, tactical officer can do, we'll see it raise and lower shields. You can also, ooh, nice little map section here. Torpedoes, arm and disarm. Torpedoes and the shields do take a little time to boot up. So if you're going into battle, you do want to take that into consideration. And you've got a bit of a, some burst fire there. 
You've got the same thing as you have with the helm. You've got a system intrusion. This is basically allows you to disable weapons or shields on an enemy spacecraft. And obviously the transporter function, if you have scanned and found their life forms that need taking off. Once that scan's complete, we shall then see what's needed to be doing. And I'll also take you over to engineering. Now, obviously when you're playing this multiplayer, this does get a little bit more interesting because you're working as a team. Things get happen a little bit quicker. Uh, and the thing is a little bit more intuitive. You've all got your own sec designated roles. Um, and it is a lot more interesting than just playing it by yourself when you've got AI characters. Sort of like you're controlling them on a string. Out of range. They're moving out of range. So. Let's okay. So turn that off. Approach target. Like I say, if you're doing this multiplayer. I wouldn't have needed to have bothered doing that. I could have sat sat here and said, right, follow him. Oh, obviously just talking to your mates or whoever's online. Obviously the uh, tactical officer could then scan it. And this all could be done a lot more smoother. And obviously as the game progresses and you get into more complicated situations, that's when it really pays off. Okay. Right, so we get to order helm to plot warp course to gamma hydrant. Right, okay. Then you've got all sorts of different functions like this as well. Depending on obviously the view screen that you want. Okay, so I'm gonna go to there. Okay. Let's take over. Let's let's do this properly. Okay, so no engine's not set up to warp. So this is where you'd normally ask the engineer we're going to take over to show you this so the engineer this is all exciting stuff we have power we have repair so you can repair you know any of some of the uh, subsist subsystems you can also switch it on so you get a nice subsystems display isn't that nice and you basically have these are your power nodes which you can then select to put if you like so we're going to go full power to the engine okay then i'm going to take over this guy again i 
I may have been a little bit off there. Not quite. Uh... Boom. So. Let's. So I've started moving us towards there. Okay. Good. Right. Tell him what to do. I want you to scan targets. Exciting stuff. There's a reason you're over there. You're in the corner. You're boring. Out of shields. Excellent. So. Let's go into there. Shields off. Life science detected. Let's go to the transporter. Okay. And then lock on. Let's rescue these guys. And girls. We won't shoot them. They're good. And energize. And there we go. That's a little and very brief introduction to Star Trek Bridge Crew from Ubisoft. If you want to check it out, it's on Oculus Rift, which we're playing on now, HTC Vive, and PlayStation VR. So come back again for another VR Focus gameplay video.